of the resources we obtain from nature. These resources are not created by us. We have no capacity to produce natural resources or to generate natural resources. But we cannot live a moment without the natural resources. These resources are very much valuable for us. But gradually their quantity is found reducing. And we are facing problems due to their shortage. Natural resources are the things that exist freely in nature. Human beings have no power to produce natural resources. These resources include sunlight, atmosphere, water, land, minerals, plants and animals. Human beings have learned to locate, extract, refine, and process various natural resources for utilization. Human beings produce materials which form the very basis of life and life process. Natural resources are invaluable wealth and extremely useful for mankind. Let us discuss the extraction of natural resources. Resource extraction involves activities that withdraw resources from nature. That means we withdraw resources and process them if required and use them for our benefits. This extraction process includes procurement of raw materials and these are then processed to add values. That means we extract natural resources, process them in industry or factory and produce valuable items for us. These resources are the wealth of the nation. The export of natural resources is a source of economy in developing countries. Let us discuss the depletion of natural resources. In recent years, depletion or decline of natural resources has become a major focus of government and non-governmental organization. That means now everyone is worried about the depletion or decline of natural resources. The United Nations Agenda 21 in its section 2 outlines that necessary steps to be taken by countries to sustain their natural resources. That means every country should come forward to protect, preserve and manage in a hopeful way to sustain the life of human beings and other creatures. The conservation of natural resources is considered important for sustainable development. Let us discuss what is sustainable development. Sustainable development or sustainable economic development. That 
that is conducted without depletion of natural resources that means in case of sustainable development declining of natural resources is not required in this type of development the needs of the present human beings are met without compromising the ability of future generation to meet their own needs that means we use the resources for our purposes and also save them for our future generation so that we are not only benefited from these resources but our future generation can enjoy the benefits thus balancing the need to use resources and also conserving them for future is called sustainable development that means sustainable need development needs balancing use of natural resources and also conservation of these natural resources for the future aim of sustainable development the aim of sustainable development is to maintain a balance among economic environmental and social needs economic environmental and social needs allowing prosperity of the present and future generation sustainable development encourages conservation of natural resources and enhances the resource base resource base by gradual change in the process of development and use of technology threat to natural resources in the world most of the biodiversity are located in developing countries depletion of these resources could result in losses of ecosystem services for these countries that means the developing country mostly rely upon the natural resources if there is depletion or declining of the natural resources definitely there will be disturbances in ecosystem services and also decrease in economic condition of the country the depletion of the natural resources is caused by either direct driver sub change or indirect driver sub change the direct driver sub change include mining petroleum extraction fishing and forestry etc where the indirect driver sub change include population economy society politics and technology natural resources are under serious threat due to their over use and human consumption that means we are over using the natural resources and also consuming at a higher rate of these resources the main threats of natural resources are overpopulation 
brings about over exploitation increasing human population seeks to cause over exploitation of many resources that means increasing population leads to exploitation of resources thus adjustable resources such as arable land coral reefs fresh water fossil fuels and wildness of forest are found decreasing sharply in order to sustain the ever increasing population that means as the population is increasing the natural resources are found to be decreasing due to overuse and higher rate of consumption the second type of threat is intensive agriculture and farming practices intensive and intensive agriculture uses mechanization system and aims to maximize yield through the heavy use of pesticides and chemical fertilizers that means to feed the ever growing populations now we have adopted intensive agriculture we have adopted mechanization system and also using pesticides and chemicals to enhance our productivity the pressure to convert lands into resources for producing crop and livestock rearing is increasing that means we are converting the lands into resources areas for the production of crops and livestock rearing as a result the natural resources like forest wildlife and fertile lands are from decreasing day by day the other growing causes are climate change and global warming changes in the climate pattern seem to threaten biodiversity and other natural resources that means now the effect of climate change and a rising of temperature is felt on the natural resources their effect is greatly noticed and the world population is greatly affected through climate change and global warming the effect that the climate change and global warming produce is habitat loss which affect affect the survival of many species many species habitat means dwelling place that means if the dwelling place of the natural resources is lost many species will be lost beside that the other cause is environmental pollution the majority of natural resources have been destroyed and a large portion is under great threat due to toxic substances and chemicals emitted from industries homemade utilities and agriculture activities land air and water pollution produces long term cumulative cumulative impact on the natural resources and the quality of the environment in which they occur that means environmental pollution has greatly affected the natural resources and the cumulative effect of land air and water pollution is putting impact on the natural resources 
so that the quality of the environment is gradually decreasing and it is not able to support the growing human population in future. The next is land use and development. The conversion of land into urban settings, housing development projects, office space, shopping malls, industrial sites, parking areas, road networks, etc. Take away the naturally occurring land along with habitat for many plants and animals. That means what we are getting now and doing for the development all are at the cost of the natural resources. As the habitat of the plant and animals are lost several problem arises. The ecosystem is disturbed. Beside this, modern lifestyles plays a great role in the depletion of natural resources. The present day lifestyle tremendously threatens the natural resources. The developmental and industrial process demands more energy and more natural resources and more raw materials. That means our lifestyle largely depend on more energy, more natural resources and more raw materials. This much for today. Thank you.